Well, good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to day one of the 28-day writing challenge. So I have written a book, How to Write a Book in 28 Days or Less, without stressing yourself to death. And I'm inviting you to either create your own book, see if we can get it done here in 28 days, or you can just follow along with me as I uh, write my next book. Now, this book is going to be a follow-up of this book. It's a book on marriage. It's called From Mountains to Molehills, Overcoming and Celebrating Your Differences in Marriage. And actually, there's a precursor to that. There's a book. It's, it's now out of print. I say that it is. And uh, it was called The Loving Way to a Successful Marriage, Six Keys to marital bliss and within this book uh, it is divided into six parts so what I did after the short run of this uh, first book I decided I wanted to do a series of books on marriage and so I'm taking each part and uh, making a book out of each part of this original book and uh, so anyway, that's my plan. Now, these first three days are going to be kind of vague uh, for you if you're starting out and you're just writing your book. Uh, these first three days are, can, can all kind of run together. Now, in my case, since I have a foundation of, uh, oh, I think it's uh, around 40 pages in this part. Let me see here. In part one, uh, the first book in the series is about leaving the impo most important move you can make in your marriage. And then, coming back over here. When part two was overcoming the most important commitment you can make in your marriage. And that's where the book From Mountains to Molehills came from. I want to come on over to the next section. And, uh, oh, I'm sorry it's taking so long here. Part three, valuing the most important attitude you can have in your marriage. Now you'll see, lining up with the words that are down here, I'm sorry they're backwards to you, but uh, leaving, overcoming, and valuing. See, this is uh, six keys to marital bliss, and each one of those relates to the acronym LOVING. So the loving way to a successful marriage. So the first one is leaving. The second one is overcoming. And this third one is valuing, valuing each other. And so I have that uh, part three uh, talking about that, valuing the most important attitude you can have in your marriage. Now, what I wanted to see was, this starts on page 87. And I want to find out how far it goes. In this, we talk about how men and women think. It's some of my favorite things to talk about whenever I give uh, uh, speaking engagements. We talked about how society's thought patterns have influenced uh, our marriages. Okay, now part four is going to be intimacy, experiencing intimacy the most important connection you can make in your marriage. So that will be the next book. So this book starts on page 87, and it goes through page 120. So 87, 13, plus 20 is, is that right? 57. So I have 57 pages as a foundation for my book. And uh, in the uh, How to Write a Book in 28 Days or Less, there are three different methods that are mentioned in writing that book. 
and one of them is how to use your previous writing and previous blog posts and things like that. So I do have a section out of this book, uh, The Loving Way to a Successful Marriage. I have a section that's related to valuing, and uh, that's that's a foundation. I also have several blog posts that I've done in relation to that. And I have uh, preached uh, two or three sermons that would relate to that. Now those sermons, of course, related to a general audience and to a wider thing than just applying it to marriage. But I'm going to take those and uh, hone them down more specifically to the idea of marriage. So that's how I'm starting. So what you need to do here in these first uh, three days is to figure out a working title for your book. Now this does not have to be the final title, but your idea, your topic, your working title. And are you going to be uh, pulling together things that you have done before? Or are you going to start from scratch? Another thing that we need to figure out is how long do we want our book to be? Now, I recommend that anywhere from 100 to 200 pages uh, would be what you would want to shoot for. Since I already have 57 pages, then I need at least uh, 43 more pages that I would be shooting for. So that would be uh, uh, 47 more pages. So that would be four or five chapters if I were to write 10 page chapters. So that's how I'm getting started. Now, what you need to do is come up with your uh, working idea. And then do you already have an idea of like major divisions that would be chapters for your book? If you do, then you are in good shape. If not, then you need to come up with uh, what you think would be the chapters that you would have in your book. So the challenge today and tomorrow is to come up with the ideas for anywhere from 5 to 20 chapters that you would want to create for your book. Now, if you're doing fiction, uh, then uh, again, you would want to figure out how many chapters you would want to do with that, but you would probably want at least maybe 20 chapters for your fiction book. But, but you figure that out. Okay, well, that's how I'm getting started. I'll talk to you either later today or again tomorrow. Have a great day.